Hi Scorpio, welcome back to the channel. Welcome to Angel Love 333. Lisa here, getting ready to do your unfinished business reading. This reading is going to be about somebody you have some history with, where you're just feeling like things are unsettled. You know, there could be no contact <clears throat> or distance between you and this person, or you just feel you need clarity. So with that, uh, we're going to get started here in a moment. I just want to also say there is an extended reading link in the description box and in the comments. If this reading resonates with you, you can check it out. I will look at the next four weeks energy moving forward from this reading and I'll dive a bit deeper into your person. So more about that later. So with that, let's get started. I'm going to pull a few oracles here. See what the energy is with the person you feel you have unfinished business with. And then I'm also going to uh, pull the tarot. We'll clarify what is needed. And then we'll get some messages from your person. Okay. Mm. Wow. I'm going to say very strongly here, this is someone, Scorpio, who was not honest with you because you have truth and you also have here the snake, okay? I'm just going to be very clear here. I feel there was competition in your situation, meaning there was someone around this person that was competing for the your person's attention. Now, it doesn't have to be like another lover. It can be. It can also be, uh, I'll say not lover, but love interest. It could be anybody. It could be a family member. It could be a friend. Uh, a co-worker, whatever the case may be. It could be somebody who has a crush on your person. But I feel there's something here that this person has not been completely honest with you about in that situation, okay? It's showing me here with the camera. This is about the past. I do feel, um, you know, so something in your past, I feel this person has not been honest about, but I also sense here this person is thinking about you. And they're thinking and reminiscing about the past. That's that energy. Now, I do feel there has been some distance or separation here with trust. Okay. Now, it feels like either something hasn't been working or it didn't work out with you and this person. That's the trust in divine timing uh, card here. So maybe there's been some distance or time between you and this person. But I will say this person is dreaming about you because you also have here the 5D. So they're dreaming about you. You may be dreaming about this person too. This is divine messages. So they could also be seeing um, signs and synchronicities. You may even be feeling this person very strongly at this time. Okay. And I'm going to say here, here's another confirmation because the next card here is a timing card of summer. Now, we are in summer here in the U.S., okay? I'm filming this in summertime, so it we're going to take it as summer timing, even if you're in another country and you are not in summer, okay? But that's the energy here. It's also a card of progress, so that could tell me something is changing. All right, this card wanted to come out. bottom of the deck here we have the devil see that's what i'm saying there's something around okay there's something about this person and there is some sort of third party situation here that's not healthy okay it's showing me that it's not healthy now it could just be right it's a pattern with this person you and this person it's not healthy but see we have truth and expression and we have the queen of cups this tells me this is somebody who does have feelings for you, but I'm going to say here, they haven't been honest. Okay, and I'm going to say with this Queen of Cups, maybe your intuition is telling you that they have not been honest. Now, we do have the Eight of Wands. Could be um, a sign of communication. It's with the snake here. So I don't want to say anything yet because I'm going to pull more cards and we're going to clarify. You do have the Nine of Pentacles. See the camera here. They are thinking about you. 
seeing you in this Nine of Pentacles energy, seeing you as, could see you as generous, but also could be seeing you doing very well for yourself. So you may be looking good, uh, being seen as attractive here. And it almost feels like this person could be looking at your photos or they could be looking at your social media is what I'm getting there as well. And then you also have here the Ten of Swords, okay? So it does feel for many of you there was an ending here, okay? It's right there with divine timing. So let's keep going. Thank you, Spirit. What else can you share with Scorpio about oh, the person on their mind okay ha huh, look at that didn't i say i said i feel like this person could be keeping an eye on you or looking at your photos i definitely get that there all right let's uh pull another card what else does libra need to know or not libra i'm sorry maybe you're dealing with the libra what else does scorpio need to know about the person they feel they have unfinished business with. Okay. Yeah. Bottom of the deck here, you have the Queen of Wands. We have two queens. It's not about male or female. It's about the energy. And that's what I'm saying here. I feel like there is somebody influencing this person. It doesn't have to be. Because your next card is the Ace of Wands. Oh my gosh. The Ace of Wands, the Four of Wands. And you also have here the Fool card. Now, it could just tell me this person is still much so very attracted to you. They have a strong desire for you. Could even be a lot of fire energy. Could be a fire sign, Aries, Leo, strong Leo here, or Sagittarius. I'm also picking up strong Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, and, and Cancer, Pisces, or another Scorpio. So let's go through this. You have um, the Nine of Wands and we have the Queen of Cups. Okay, yeah. This person is kind of shielded what they're feeling for you. This Truth card also talks about seeing things from a new perspective. So I'm also feeling it can be that energy of like this person... Um, you know, still thinking about you, not too sure they want to give up on this connection. Tell me more about the Nine of Wands. Tell me more about the Nine of Wands. Okay, yeah, the butterfly. That's what I was saying. This can talk about the met, the next phase, but also talk about releasing the past. And I feel like the, it could just tell me this person really has, definitely has their walls up. And it's because of their past. But let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. You have the cut down. This talks about separation, stopping the pattern. I'm going to say, Scorpio, this shows me that this is somebody that you may have uh, set your boundaries with because the next card is about boundaries says not today you may have set your boundaries with this person or just had enough felt very frustrated with this person and what I'm sensing here is it's causing this person to now look at things differently uh, you know they have to right if they're still uh, you know thinking about you and looking at your photos and dreaming about you Spirit's trying to get their attention, and I also feel like you you did something, you set your boundaries or some sort of action you took is now helping this person see things differently. So that's the first thing I get. Eight of Wands and the Page of Swords. Interesting. Now it's with that, that competition card. I'm going to clarify that snake. Tell me more about this snake energy. Okay, so we got um, old school here. This talks about uh, replaying things over and over in their head. So you know what I really get here? If, the, if you know there was a third party interfering, this person is really thinking about the situation, 
okay, about this you and this third party and, and what has happened. I also feel like with the blowing kiss energy that they're really thinking about you too. And they may think about the unconditional love you gave them, but it also talks about fairness and love. So this may be somebody realizing that whoever was competing for their attention, they may be realizing that they weren't fair to you is, is strongly what I'm picking up there. Let's see why this Page of Swords is here. Tell me more about this Page of Swords. Okay, we got the Death Rebirth card. Oh, look at that, the date. And you also have here talking, all right. So it does feel like they may either feel things are over between the two of you or they may, or things may have actually ended between the two of you. See, they're trying to figure out how to fix things. They're gonna try and figure out how to fix things. Okay, they may be also thinking about communication. We'll see in the extended if, if you're gonna receive communication in the next four weeks, but you have the death, rebirth card, date card, and you have talking. So this person's gonna do something, I feel, to either try to talk to you or meet up with you is strongly what I'm getting here. And I feel like they could be spying to figure out if you're out there dating or if you're seeing somebody new is the energy I'm really picking up. Now, as I said, reminiscing about you, okay, they're thinking about the good memories here because you got the sun card and you also have the nine of pentacles. So they're seeing you in a really good light. They're thinking about the good times and the fun times the two of you have had. You know, if they have the ability to spy on you, they may be seeing like maybe you're doing very well in your life. Now, Ten of Swords and the Star card. See, they, they have hope to heal this connection. They have hope for a new beginning here. Let's get a couple messages from your person and then um, what they want to say or what they're thinking. And then we're going to take it to the extended and dive deeper. Uh, we'll see what the next four weeks brings as far as communication or anything else. And then we'll get into what they're thinking, feeling, their upcoming actions, and their intentions. Love notes from them and guidance. So let's see what they want to say or what they're thinking to Scorpio. Hmm. Look at this. Focused on money. I'm currently focusing on my career and finances. My main priority is financial stability. So this may be somebody who is all about their money. You also have here nervous. You make me nervous. Even just thinking about you, I get nervous. I'm not sure what to say or how to act around you, okay? So that may just be in general, but it can also be because of the situation here. So Scorpio, I'm gonna take it to the extent and we're gonna see how this plays out. Link is in the description box and the comments. I hope to see you there. I hope you all have a wonderful rest of day or evening. And I'm sending you angel love.